hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're just gonna hop right on in i'm gonna be doing a very detailed um tutorial on how i do my brows i get questions about that so for this i actually arch my brows myself i think i did pretty good because normally they don't even have no shape to them so your girl did pretty good um but this right here i'm using is the what is that the super scent no i'm sorry yes it is crayon case there we go the crayon case um gel eyeliner or gel pencil brow pencil whatever it's called in the shade ebony and i use that to fill in and then i take some of my maybelline instant age rewind concealer in the shade 147 to clean up which is what you guys see me doing here and now i no longer clean the top i only clean the bottom of it and i didn't realize that i was sitting like at an angle so i hope you guys can see what i'm doing um if you guys need me to re-record it just let me know but once I have the concealer applied, I'm now going in with just a brush. I think this is a Real Techniques brush. I don't remember which one it is, but I can also look that up and leave it in the description below. But I'm just blending this out and I'm blending downwards just to make sure that I don't take away from the crispy arch that we just made. I am now going in with the Grafton Cosmetics eyeshadow base. I fluctuate between the uh, Grafton Cosmetics and the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It really just depends on whatever's in my sight and whatever I can find immediately. And that's what I'm going to put on. I am using my finger once again. Sometimes I use my finger. Sometimes I use my brush. It's the same exact thing, but we're just going to blend all of that out before we apply our shadow. I'm now going in with the Morphe Fierce by Nature palette again. Um, and we're going to be using those deep browns. I had a look in mind, but it didn't go as to plan. But we're going to be just, you know, kind of carving out our crease for this look. So now we're going in with a deeper brown. It, the brown is almost like a black. Like it's very deep, but I don't use black all the time. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. This depends on the moment, but we're just going to use this and focus on the outer edges. You guys know I really live for a dark edge. For whatever reason, that's just my signature. So, um, yeah, we're just going to blend that in. Like I said, not really going too far. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Orange Glad palette. Oh my goodness, I haven't used this palette in so long. Um, I already completed my left eye. It's going to be the right eye for you guys. Um, but I already completed that. And we're just going to apply this. I normally do like two or three colors, so I'm doing really good. The fact that I only did one color on the lid. Super simple look for you guys. I want it to be beginner friendly. Um, so yeah, you're just going to put that all on there. And then we got one more shade and we are done with the eyeshadow and we can move on to the face. So using the same palette, there is like a lighter orange shimmer color. And I'm just using that to apply that in the inner corner. to Just make this pop just a little bit. And right here, I was like, hmm. This ain't going too good, but you guys liked it. So, I mean, that's all that matter, you know? I am now going in with my e.l.f. Coreless Primer, and I love this primer more than I like the putty primer. So, I actually just bought another one of these today. It's only like six bucks at Target. So, yeah, um, but this helps to close my pores because I have big pores for whatever reason. They're just huge, but you want to blend this all into the face, just, you know, using light pressure, light fingers, and just get it all in there. So you guys already know what time it is. I'm going in with my Maybelline foundation in the shade 370. I use the 24 hour wear. I also kind of go back and forth between the matte one as well. Either one of them is good, but I do like the 24 hour better. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And we're just going to use a brush. I've been using a brush lately. You don't have to. You can always use a sponge. Again, it just depends on how I feel that day. Um, but we're just applying it all over. So now I'm taking that same Maybelline concealer that we used to clean up our brows and I'm applying that as my first shade of highlight under my eyes. And we're just going to put it on and blend it out. You guys know I do double concealer. I use this one as well as the shade in 142, which is a lighter shade, um, just to go in and, you know, highlight. I've already contoured. I use, I believe it's the Makeup Revolution F18. I believe it's that one. If it's not that one, it is definitely Black Radiance Chocolate Dipped, which is also one of my faves. 
All right, so I start out with blending out my contour prior to me blending out my highlight. You guys can do it in whatever way you want to. I just find that this way is a lot better for me and it just to me it just looks better on my face I don't know about your face I don't know I can just tell you about my face and so I just blend out all of the contour and I'm not you know just I don't know I'm, I'm patting it into the skin that would be the best way of describing it I'm not trying to drag it anywhere just patting it on into my skin Now I'm going in and I'm blending out my concealer. This is the first round of concealer. I believe I recorded the second round as well. If not, it is in my last video. If you guys need um, a tutorial on that, it's there. But I think I did record it, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, we're just going to blend that out. Once again, not dragging anywhere. Just simply patting out where it already is. And that's it. <laughs> Okay, so here is the second round of the concealer. This is the lighter shade, and I just like to put on a lighter shade because I feel like it just brightens up. I like a bright highlight. That's just me. If you don't, then you can just stop at the first one and call it a day. Me personally, I just like a bright under eye. That's just my thing. So, yeah, we're just blending that in, and once again, not dragging it too far out, just really focusing on blending this into the skin. <laughs> So I thought I recorded me baking, but I guess I didn't. But if you guys need that, that is in the last video as well. So what I'm doing right here is I am actually putting on um, like the contour powder. So we did like the contour cream. Um, now you're just setting that with the powder. So this is actually from Morphe. I think it's in the shade Deep. I got it at Ulta. It was like $29. If you guys are interested in that, you can also use any shade a powder I've used black radiance before whatever shade is going to work for you but I use this to kind of set the contour and then I go in with my bronzer from Fenty Beauty that is the Mocha Mommy I think that is coming up so you guys can see that too now I am doing my under eye y'all this was so difficult to record on camera I'm using the angled brush and I'm just applying the orange all under my eye it was so hard to record because I have to like crook my neck in order to do it. Like, I don't know. It's weird, but this is how I do it. I hope you guys can see it. And yeah. <laughs> so this is the Mocha Mommy from Fenty Beauty. If you guys have not heard me rave about this, go to my last video, honey, because this is my shit. For brown skin women, it's so hard to find a bronzer for us. And this is just it. I'm using just like a little fluffy brush to just put it on my face, you know, right above that contour, just to bring some color back and just kind of give you that kiss by the sun effect, okay? So in this video, I included how I actually, you know, wipe off the excess powder. I don't actually wipe it off. I pat it into my skin. As you guys can see, I'm just using, using uh, patting motions to pat this into the skin and it just... To me, it just looks so much better than trying to wipe it off because it's like if you wipe it off, why did you even set it? You know what I'm saying? Like it just it made no sense. But yeah, whatever. All right, so now I'm using the Maybelline Long Lasting Setting Spray and I'm just going to set my entire face. We have made it to the end, honey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what type of looks you guys want to see in the comments. I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.